this employer is verified they already have their lmia and can hire a foreign worker then we have this other here bull market firms it's a permanent employment position currently looking for 36 farm workers it's on, on kingsville ontario 14.39 an hour requirements is just english and secondary school graduation certificate how to use the government of canada job bank website to find employers willing to sponsor you to relocate to canada as a temporary foreign worker or as a permanent resident that's what i'm going to be talking about in today's video and you want to stay up to the very end <music> welcome back to the channel i am so glad that you are watching if you're new here welcome karibu my name is Ivam tali and on this channel we talk about all things visas we talk about immigration and we also talk about working abroad from your country so if any of these topics sound exciting to you you want to hit the subscribe button below and once you have done so you want to hit the notification bell as well so that every single time I shoot a new video you do not miss out in today's video i'm going to be showing you straight from my computer screen how you can use the government of canada's job bank that is jobbank.gc.ca website to look for employment opportunities directly from canadian employers and to search for those jobs whereby you get visa sponsorship to relocate and immigrate to canada so without much further ado let's head over to my computer and take a look at the government of canada job bank website the first step in getting an employer to sponsor you through the temporary foreign worker program to immigrate to canada and eventually get your permanent residence if possible is to start off by logging into the job bank website so this is the government of canada's official job posting and job search website and um, to get there you just type jobbank.gc.ca and once you're here this is the landing page you will find yourself in and as you can see at the shooting of this video, there are 87,388 job postings in Canada. So the first thing you want to click on is this job search. And then there is find job and just scroll down all the way to browse jobs. Once you're on, on browse jobs, this is the landing page these jobs and they're categorized um, in different ways. So according to the popular searches, you can see most people are looking for cleaner jobs, admin assistant jobs, and then also by in-demand jobs. Um, here, there's a lot of demand for cooks, as you can see. You can also sort out the jobs by location. Quebec province has the highest number of jobs currently available, 31,000 followed by British Columbia, which is 18,000. Ontario has 17,000 and Alberta has 7,000 and going on to Saskatchewan and the rest of the different locations. You can also search for jobs by category. So you can see here, the highest number of jobs are in sales and service occupations, 28,000. We have jobs in trade, transport, and equipment, operators, and related occupations, 16,000. We have business, finance, and admin occupations at 10,000. And then we have these other jobs. You can also search for jobs by employer. But what you want to do is to click on advanced. The advanced search allows you to filter jobs by period of employment, by hours of work, whether it's full time or pump time, by language at work, for example, is it English and French, French only, English only, by the job source. You can choose to only pick verified jobs. You can pick to exclude placement agency or recruitment agency jobs. You can decide to pick by verified 
federal government jobs, etc. You can choose to pick by education or training. You can choose to pick, that is, whether university qualification, whether there is no education required. You can choose to pick by salary. You can pick by job category. You can pick by provinces and territories. You can select by employment groups. You can select by employment conditions. You can select by benefits. So in this particular scenario, we are going to pick by employment group and select temporary foreign workers. And the reason I'm picking temporary foreign workers because temporary foreign worker is one of the Government of Canada immigration programs that allows employers throughout Canada to hire temporary foreign workers to work on specific work positions. And as long as the Canadian employer has applied for what they call the LMIA, that is a labor market impact assessment, which confirms that they can hire a foreign worker to fill labor or skills shortages in Canada, and that there is currently no Canadian citizen or Canadian permanent resident who can do that job. And there are different streams under the temporary foreign worker program under which you can be hired. So what happens once you are hired as a temporary foreign worker, you will use the positive labor market impact assessment that is the LMIA that you will be provided for by the employer and use it to apply for a work permit. And the difference between the stream and going through other immigration streams is that you will receive a closed work permit. So this essentially means you can only work for this particular employer who has filed the labor market impact assessment for you. And your work permit will include three main things. Number one, it's going to indicate the name of your employer. It's going to indicate how long you can work. And it will also indicate where in Canada you can work. But the main advantage of immigrating to Canada under the Temporary Foreign Worker Program is that while you may not get a permanent resident immediately, it allows you to work in Canada and get Canada work experience, which will give you significant mileage should you decide to apply for permanent residence because it is good for your resume and also the immigration highly values Canadian work experience. And most of the provincial nomination programs insist on having six to 12 months of local work experience. So this is the advantage of going to Canada through the temporary foreign work program. So once you have clicked on temporary foreign workers, you can also choose to click on verified jobs so that you don't get the scams, but you can also just leave it blank. So let's leave it blank for the purpose of this video. And then you click on search. I have clicked on search and you can see there are currently 1,769 jobs available for temporary foreign worker program. So let's look at some of these jobs and see what exactly they entail. So you can see all chicken is looking for a cook. We have fresh choice food distribution and services looking for a meat portion cutter. We have um, Mary Beth looking for a child caregiver for a private home. We have um, Finstra Flowers looking for a greenhouse worker. We have Halton Apiary is looking for an apiary worker. We have um, Black and Blue Restaurant looking for a cook. And you can see the pay is not bad. It's negotiable at $21 an hour. We have Tim Hartons looking for food service supervisor at $16 an hour in Alberta, Canada. We have Bull Market Farms looking for a farm worker at $14 an hour. We have Provita Care Management looking for healthcare aid workers at between 18.99 to $25.83 an hour. We have a private household looking for a live-in caregiver. We have Cadero's restaurant looking for a cook. 
So let's just take a look at uh, some of these, the requirements that they have here. So we have um, the steel rule, die maker is being, looking for, he, being looked for, and you can see this job was posted on 30th of July. Um, it's verified by the Job Bank Canada. And what you are looking for is this yellow thing here. So you can see this employer has applied for a labor market impact assessment to hire a foreign worker to fill labor or skill shortages on a temporary basis. So you can see it's yellow, meaning that this employer is yet to get the LMIA, which is fine because they've already applied for it. They're a verified um, employer and you can see the pay is very good at 30.5 Canadian dollars an hour for 40 hours a week and it's a permanent full-time job you only work from 8 a.m. to 16:30, and it pays for overtime let's look at the requirements so number one um, you need English language and then it requires secondary high school graduation certificate does not even require a degree and experience of five years or more so the specific skills is that compute dimensions and tolerance and set up machine tools lay out shape and assemble patterns of metal wood plastic and other materials blah 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 and then you can see you also need pattern making experience with wood and metal um, you need to be able to have um, autocad computer application skills and um, you're gonna have to go through a criminal record check so that's the importance of having your police certificate and here you have to have your own tools and they tell you the type of Work environment is noisy, there's on transportation that is required, and you'll be working at the shop. So this is just one job that is currently hiring foreign workers, and they already applied for the LMIA. Let's take a look at another job. We have here Booster Juice, who is looking for a food service supervisor and has two vacancies. The pay is $14 an hour. It's a permanent full-time job does not require any degree you just need your um, secondary school certificate seven months to less than a year you need a criminal record check and that's basically what you need so anybody can apply for this job um, we also have this all chicken is verified they're looking for a cook has applied yet to get their labor market impact assessment 16 to 17 dollars an hour does not require a university degree and you can see you're basically preparing dishes for customers with food allergies or intolerances public transportation is available and you're working in an urban area okay then we have another job here meat portion cutter has already applied for an LMIA, the salary is $20 an hour, permanent job, two vacancies, and it's a verified job. This is a meat packing plant. All you need, you don't even need experience, you're going to be trained, but you should be able to carry up to 23 kg. Okay. We have here child caregiver, private home. This is verified and you're going to be working at $15 and 20, 15 um, dollars an hour, 40 hours a week. It's a full-time job. Looking for one person has applied for labor market impact assessment. That's why this is still yellow. And um, requirements, you need first aid certificate and your CPR certificate experience one to less than seven months one year to less than seven months, secondary high school graduation certificate is what you need, or equivalent experiences. It's a newborn, including an expecting mother, and you'll be working at the employer's home. It's a verified job. Finstra Flowers is looking for a greenhouse worker here. And one thing I love about this job, one, it's verified, and two, you can see this has now turned green, which means the employer has an approved labor market impact assessment and the expected start date is 12th of December. This employer is verified. They already have their LMIA and can hire a foreign worker. Requirements is just English 
and secondary school graduation certificate. You need seven months to less than one year. And the specific skills required is transport seedlings or rooted cuttings, um, report size of insect and disease damage, pot and report plants, it's basically. And then of course, you need experience with light trucks, irrigation pumps, and the like, it is cut flowers. And the pay is 14.39 per hour for 40 to 60 hours a week, and there's two vacancies. Okay, then we have here apiary worker. Halton Apiaries is looking for um, an, four apiary workers, actually there are four vacancies, and the pay is 12.25 to 15 um, dollars an hour, working for 30 to 65 hours a week. Um, seasonal employment, I talked about that, you work up to eight months a year. And this employer, you can see it's green here, has an approved labor market impact assessment to hire a foreign worker. Let's check the job requirements. All you need is an English language proficiency, no degree, certificate or diploma needed, one year to less than two years experience, and a period of work. And you can see the work conditions, and you're working in a rural area. Experience with automated honey extractor, should be a team player. Then we have this other job here as a cook in black and blue restaurant is verified. And also something else I forgot to mention, you can actually click on the, when you click on the, the name of the company hiring, it takes you um, to their website. And this one is paying $18 an hour, 18 to $12, $21 an hour for 30 to 40 hours of week. And something else I forgot to mention, on the right hand side of every job, it shows you the location of the job and the median wage. So you can see here the median wage is 15.2 an hour, but this employer is willing to pay 18 to 21 an hour. No degree required, no certificate, but you need to have at least two years of experience and specific skills is to you're gonna have to be able to train staff in preparation cooking and handling of food you should be able to supervise kitchen staff and helpers prepare and cook complete meals and prepare dishes for customers that's an additional skill that is required so you can see there are three vacancies for cooks and um, 18 to 21 dollars an hour and um, then we have here food service supervisor these employees also verified um, four vacancies available $16 an hour the employer has applied for LMIA and the requirement is um, English and secondary school certificate two years of work then we have this other here bull market farms is higher this job was posted um, on the 3rd of August it's a permanent employment position. Currently looking for 36 farm workers. It's on, on Kingsville, Ontario, 14.39 an hour. And the employer has an approved LMIA to hire a foreign worker to fill labor or skills shortages on a temporary basis. So this is the employer you want to work for. The requirements, you just need to be able to speak English, no degree needed, no experience needed. You just need to be able to harvest crops Detects disease, detect disease and health problems in crops, livestock and poultry, and be able to hand harvest vegetables. We also have another job here, um, verified a living caregiver for seniors. You're gonna be working in a private household. One vacancy pay is $18 an hour for 32.5 hours per week. And um, this employer has already applied for LMIA, not yet received it. All you need is a college or um, other non-university certificate or diploma, and then you need first aid certificate, CPR certificate, yeah? Um, then experience is an asset, but it's not necessary. The things you'll be doing is shop for food and household supplies, provide personal care, prepare and serve nutritious meals, administer bedside and personal care, assist in regular exercise, e.g. walk, assist clients with bathing and other aspects of personal hygiene. If you can speak Cantonese, then you're at an advantage. You might be able to handle up to 13.5 kg and um, target audience is elderly people, persons with disability or females. 
and you'll be working in the employer's home, room and board is provided. Um, we also have Cadero's restaurant here, which is very fine looking for four cooks. Um, the pay is 15.2 to 19 per hour for 30 to 35 hours of work. And they have already applied for the LMIA. No education requirements, no certificate, as long as you have experience, two years um and english language skills well guys that's it for today on how you can get canadian employers to hire you directly by going through the government of canada job bank website let me know in the comment section below if you have got any questions and i'm also happy to shoot any other videos that you would like for me to shoot so let me know that in the comment section below and as always please remember to give this video a thumbs up and to share it thank you for staying up to the very end i look forward to meeting you on the next video bye bye